my grandma, my big brother, and we had cousins, my other cousins lived with us. And I went to primary school in Lerato in Hebron until grade 7. From there I went to Dominican Convent School. So in, uh, I was kind of a crash, I was kind of a shy child, but as time went by, I started to develop, you know, more interest. Since all I was even different from other children, and it, which is, it was a difficult thing, you know, because I never even knew what, what was progeria by then. I always assumed and believed in whatever rumors that were there out there, other children were saying. And which is, was a difficult thing, not for only me, but also for my family. But I guess I was a really a strong child growing up. I mean, I always believed in myself and I knew that whatever reason I'm different from others, there should be a good reason why God made it like that. Well, after people realized um, what disease I had, it was, it, was, it was kind of a little bit better and that's why I started knowing life and enjoying life. And that's, that's where I started um, to, to realize what kind of life is it, you know, being normal in a way. The term progeria, I know, is that it's a rare disease that uh, children with progeria, they function faster, so they have, they develop more diseases quicker and they age, their body inside age faster. I'm healthy until another three months I change. Then I start to be very tiny, then I'm very tiny, then I change. So I don't have to worry about it, but I don't have to worry about it. I thought maybe ke cancer on the cancer. Then on Castata Catamaya, Spetlele, Casagri too so. Then till Kikrea, one of my friends, a neighbor, Alugo, Al Abroad. Then Munahai, a doctor go UK. Then Ampota Horno, Unclamitana, Kentana. There is a disease called progeri. Her mother, after understanding about the condition and taking her for relevant help, started counting each day as a blessing. Then Rita Mai, Rie, George Mukari, Harfita George Mukari, Rabatle, a genetic doctor. Then Rie told us thing. So, go spatel na manhandor mi bira hafanyan. Then I insisted her no, this is progeria until I got Dr. Harry, Dr. Hani, Bacheke. More website in Doctor Hanya even though I keep progeria, then Rostati Hona more resort keep progeria at a mile or on a wonder park and Ponsamo website in Manula Rubabian, Kibana Babananko America, Kibuzo Yang Progeri. Her mother embraced the disease knowing that they as a family had to live with it, making it part of their life journey. Progeria got a catch with me at Honaveno. In and out, I never knew how to take it to her. Who I got to get to So, if I got a good circuit to her mama, yes, I know her. Get the symptoms so hot as so, who had a so, who had a so. What's a halang because what who like her? Do you have that? Amaya, the body I eat to much and ja, spatosa is a change. So, get to her, get loose and get easy. Can I look like you look America, but I'll say it's a band root, like a bullet, you woke up a born like in a. Lebo mewa tsoring baba bana ba projeri ya so rabolela so ke se ke itse a ksatlhela e leng tsweleng hore ya ntshosa like at first na re ton tshosa o ntlametse a mpotsa hore ka lesolaka ho tsahalang ho tsahalang ka 13 years ne ke tsotsa tlhokofale mara ka re got is good got is great le ho rapela modimo wa khono bona 17 
so ke le boha modimo ka tsa tsheletsa nketse ditsentse ona ele ke ne handa re ntla metse sentle strong sentla kae ontla metse being brought up by a single parent is proud of her brother for being there for her i grew up with a single parent it, like my mom but it, i can't say it was a single parent as such because my brother was there so my brother was kind of my mother my brother my dad and my mom so he 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 kind of supporting my mom being one of the few children in south africa being diagnosed with progeria it was difficult for her to receive treatment it was hard because no one knew the disease there was no medication in south africa and i went to the wrong doctors thought that i had some different disease which was very difficult you know because even for my mom she could you should always used to say that i'm getting medication but i can't see any progress which was kind of difficult but and by then my mom didn't work she didn't have any work so it was also difficult financially Oh and after she did get some job but she had to quit since while well, I got ill and I needed her at home. Life tend to be difficult for her as those around her didn't understand what progeria was. Many people didn't understand what progeria was. I guess I was the first child to, uh, known with progeria and it was very very difficult cuz all the everyone assumed that I had TB, I had HIV, I had eczema, all those kind of diseases. And also for me growing up not knowing what diseases I had, it was very difficult to explain mostly to whatever children I'm um, I'm I mean my friends. It was really 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 difficult because I didn't know what was progeria. And people not only children but also adults instead of supporting me instead of being there for me they were not even there they didn't care they also assumed that I had HIV TB which was very very it made things very difficult for us Being the only child at school with the disease her teachers struggled to accept her Well I had some few teachers that supported me and they tried to support me not to realize that people are actually laughing at me and stuff and they are the way some teachers they were against that i could say it was a middle class thing because i remember when i was in grade 1 i was this tiny little girl where no one believed that i was in, i was going to grade 1 and they made me write test like separately and i passed the test which was making puzzles i know it's so funny but anyway Um it was it was kind of difficult knowing that people don't know what you have and you also don't know yourself and in class I mean there are some things that I could I was smart but there were some things that I couldn't do like other children She remembers one unpleasant incident that occurred at school Sometimes it's hard you know knowing that people think that i can't do some things but i can like for example at school sometimes they care a lot where they don't even want me to carry my school bag every time but i can do some things alone you know trying to be more independent ontla mates's life is a path worth traveling as she has taught many about the disease she lives with I had one really really bad experience during xenophobia. I was at school and it happened at the back of our school. That was the worst experience ever because I slept with my teddies actually. Because I was really really scared the way like near my school I had guns we couldn't sleep and police were surrounding our schools and we do have some foreign students in our school. So I was really really nervous. Oh God, I used to cry, but as time went by, I realized that you know why life needs to move on. I'm not gonna stop living my life just because of what people, other people think about me. Actually, when people stare me, I also stare at them. Mostly at the mall, I'll stare back, and some people will even fall. <laughs> or some people will actually follow me and stuff but i i just don't care what they they say 
Her mother speaks about how her child is just like any other child. Untlamezi, just like any other teenage girl, fulfills her house chores, leading a normal life. I clean, I cook, I do, I wash dishes. Yeah, most for, yeah, most of the time, that's what I do. Being in her condition, making friends for Untlamezi was not as easy. Well, I never had a lot of friends. I only had two best friends, but. Now I only currently continue the friendship with one of them, which was a good thing. They both understood me and they both cared a lot. I mean, they helped me with the school back at primary and it was very difficult, you know, moving on, thinking that I have to start a new friendship with new people who don't even know me. But otherwise, I, I mean, that's life. I have to move on. She's a sweet and loving person with a big personality that stands out amongst others. I'm a bubbly person. I'm naughty like you. I tease people at times. And I have different characters in a way. When it comes to a point where I have to be serious, I have to be a leader. I do that. But most of the time, I just enjoy myself in school. I'm naughty. I, the teachers always not complain in a negative way, but in a positive way. Yeah, so I have two different personalities. She dreams of being able to help those in need when she graduates from university. I like psychology a lot, but looking at my health wise that, you know, I'm in high school now and everyone takes care of me at high school. You know, they, every little thing I do, they are there. And then thinking that in varsity, I have to start independent, you know, stairs, Lecture classes are far from each other and I like psychology and I like motivational speaking. So I'm going to go for motivational speaking. Just like any other 17 year old, Untla Meitsu looks up to this one particular person in her life that keeps her burning spirit alive. My role model is Lyra. I really, really, really like her. She's my inspiration. The way she sings, you know, her interviews, and when I met her, I, she, she was just amazing. I really like her. America being the only country that helps little Untlamezi with her medication, she finds it very useful to be traveling abroad. I used to go to America every year, but since all they saw a good progress, I now go every after two years to get the medication, because medication, there's no any medication in South Africa for progeria. So I go every after two years, they examine, they examine the body and how everything is doing, and they give me more medication. And most probably I am going January 2017. Her trips to America made her meet new people who also undergo the same treatment as her and that created a bond between her and the other children she met. First time being in America, it was super awesome because I've never been there and it was snowing a good part. And I, I really felt special knowing that I'm not the only one in the world with this uh, progeria disease. And I actually found more children with progeria. And now since well, I know how it looks like in America, it's simple. But not only that, I'm now able to contact with other progeria kids. And some actually are struggling in other countries, you know, for people not uh, uh, able to support them, like they are country-wise. Like for example, this, this one I know, I'm not sure where he lives, but he's doing homeschooling. The reason being is because at school people tease him. So can you imagine that actually me being motivated by myself, I'm actually lucky because now I'm actually healthier because I'm outside and I can experience more things, you know, being outside the world. And I actually talked to him and tried to motivate him that it's never end of the world. I mean, he needs to go out there and make them understand what is Pujay and make them that he will never ever change. That's how he is. All they have to do is to support him and love him for who he is. Bella gives words of encouragement to other women out there who are going through a similar situation that love is the most important medicine one can give to their children. <laughs> was invited to accompany Untlamezi to a metric dance. She tells us how much she has been looking forward to this day. 
Wow, let me check this. I've been looking for out for it since grade seven, you know. Thinking that, oh my gosh, I'm also one day going to be in matric, finally. Matric dance night, you know, being there with the roommates with all nice dresses, nice shoes, nice hair, makeup. I'm quite excited, even though it's a surprise, you guys will see it. What my dress looks like or who's the designer, but I'm looking forward. So far, I've got most of the things ready for it. What was deemed as a bleak future is today seen as a bright future and Utlameta's mother couldn't have been happier to see her daughter finishing her metric and celebrating her metric dance. So because I make trade Come with me and see what I have for you. On her big night, Unta's preparation went a little something like this. Well, I'm quite excited that I'm really here. And at the same time, I'm nervous. Well, I don't know what to expect, so probably I'm just going to dance, celebrate with the rest, you know, communicate with my food friends. A few years back, she was teased, labelled to have AIDS and no support at all. It was predicted she would not live past her 14th birthday. Well, she lived past her sweet 16th birthday. Being as optimistic as she is about her life, it seems we are yet to see more of the bubbly and happy Unklamezi Palati.